so okay so now maybe what i can do is i can take your doubt so if you want we can do another problem do you want me to do another problem and then yes sir. okay one more problem okay so let's let's uh let's do something with min okay so suppose u r c is equal to min of r plus 2c comma 2r plus c okay fine and suppose c is equal to 2l okay solve it find all the efficient allocations so u and c are two r is zero and l is one sorry utility and c is two they are both two r is zero and l is one uh, so so you are saying l is what l is just again again l is one l is yes sir okay uh yeah so l is one is definitely one of them but is is that the only one you can use the graphical method if you are facing difficulty using any other method i mean graphs will be very straightforward r greater than 2 by 3 will also be sorry r greater than 2 by 3 i think 2 by 3 mm. okay let me see i think you are right what is it just let me let me think is it r greater than 2 by 3 or l greater than 2 by 3 the r okay okay let me see so r is 2 by 3 l is also l is 1 by 3 so c is 2 by 3 yeah this is fine absolutely you are right okay yeah that's right okay very good okay so let me quickly uh, do this using the picture okay so uh, again we can just draw the graph like this of feasible allocations um so this is origin of robinson so this is origin of the firm okay and now we can just plot the production function uh, so the production function will look like this okay it's uh, its slope is uh, minus 2 right okay uh, so we have c on the vertical axis okay uh, this is uh, in this direction uh, you know r is increasing in this direction l is increasing okay and uh, r plus l is 1 is that okay fine now let's consider um, let's plot the indifference curves okay uh, so if you see indifference curves 
uh, the line of kings for the indifference curves will be a 45 degree line like this, right? Okay, and then if you plot the indifference curves, this is how they're going to look because the slope of the indifference curve will be. will be two here and half here, right? So the highest possible IC will be like this. Because slope of the IC in this region in absolute terms is going to be two. And in this region, it's going to be half. So the highest possible IC will look like this. It's going to coincide with the production function in this region. Do you agree? Okay, so all these are Pareto efficient. Yes or no? Is that clear? Okay, so just find the set of all efficient allocations. Well, they are of course on this this line C is equal to 2L. Uh, so you just have to use that. Okay, and uh, and they are above this line. Okay, so uh, notice that R plus L is one. Okay, so what we can do is, uh, you know, we can uh, we can replace L by uh, C by two. So basically, we are going to get R plus C by two is equal to one. Okay, so they are on this line, right? R plus C by two equal to one. Yes or no? Okay, and they also satisfy this property that uh because this is above the 45 degree line so c must be greater than or equal to r yes so basically set of efficient allocations is equal to c r l okay such that R plus L is one, C is equal to two L. Okay, so this is basically you know the requirement for feasibility. Okay, and then R R must be less than or equal to C. That's it. These are set of all Pareto efficient allocations. Okay, so these are all those points in the feasible set which lies above the 45 degree line. Okay, so I've just written so first two conditions will give you the feasible set, and the last condition gives you the fact that they are above the 45 degree line. So that's the set of all parade efficient allocations. Is that clear to everyone? Okay.